today. Mwah. I missed you so much. I have a very special guest, you guys. This is my baby, Josh Lynn. She's been on the channel a couple of times, you guys. This is my sweet girl. Like, I really don't know how else to put it. Like, do you guys have, like, someone in your family that you would just do anything for? You will wake up at the wee hours of the morning. You will give them any amount of money. You'll do anything. You'll beat anybody <laughs> up. Whatever whatever the case, this is her. This is one of my babies right here in the family that I adore. Um, we're going to talk. We're going to chit-chat today. Um, she kept up with me while I was in Nigeria. Yeah, she was like, when are you to, coming home? I know. <laughs> but I'm home now, and we're doing a video, you guys. So... Jocelyn is a Gen X or Gen Z. Are you Gen Z? I was born in 2000. <laughs> I'm a millennial. You're not a millennial, are you? Millennials, they stop at 2000. Really? Okay. But you have more of that Gen, Gen Z type Gen Z. of vibe. Oh, absolutely. Okay. I'm a child. So she's a Gen Z. I'm going <laughs> to consider you Gen Z because you only eat pizza and wings and like they're, they're boneless. Chicken tenders. Like you only eat boneless wings. <laughs> yeah. So that's what we have today. So you want to open that for us? So we got pizza oh. today. You, you guys, I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. Jocelyn is drinking. You want to tell them? You tell them. <laughs> She's drinking Teleport. I've never had Teleport, but I heard Teleport gets you right. I don't know, you guys. I haven't tried it. But we are having... Oh, my gosh, you guys. I'm so excited about this pizza. That looks good. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, Josh. This is going to be That's on okay. your face. Well, these are so I got to show them this pizza. Mm. Actually, let me... Let me, um, yeah, yeah. Oh God, I can't wait. Mm. You guys, I feel like I just became so greedy, like since I came home. Yeah, hold on, let's, let me pull this up. Do you need a thumbnail? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So you guys, we are having, let me fold this like this. Okay. Is that better? I feel it. You feel what? Already? You only had a sip. I told you, it takes you <laughs> Have you guys ever had Taylor Port? I have never had Taylor Port before. This is the honey. I thought we got honey mustard. Honey barbecue. There's oh. no such thing as honey mustard wings. I thought it was. Okay, so we got honey mustard wings, you guys. No. I mean, honey, honey barbecue. barbecue. Did you drink some Taylor Port? I have not had any Taylor Port. I haven't had anything to drink. I haven't had anything. So, okay, back to the pizza, you guys. So, this pizza we're having, of course, you guys know that I like doing the vegetable pizza with the pepperoni. She likes pepperoni. And then we have boneless. I like bone in, but, you know, she likes boneless, so that's what we're going to have. And we're going to do some chit-chatting. She has some things that she wants to talk to you guys about, maybe some advice she needs, some, some, some advice she needs from both of us, me and you guys. I don't know. So, yes, we're going to get it into so it. Good. Oh, God, I know. Bring so it good. in. Bring it in it's so right hot. here. Okay, put it right here. Okay. Can you eat it right here? Is that okay? Yeah, that's cool. Okay. All right. So let's say our blessing. Dear God, thank you so much for this food that we are about to receive. Thank you so much for my sweet Jocelyn mm -hmm. bringing me back home safely to see my family and to see her. God, thank you so much for all that you're doing in her life. God, bless her in every way possible. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Amen. Um, Yes, you guys. So this, we are, like, I am so excited. Like, I don't really want to waste any more time. Like, I'm hungry. I'm ready. I got my hot sauce. She has her teleport. Ooh. I have my, um, can you hand me the hot sauce? Because you're not eating hot sauce, are you? I want to try some. I'm not going to Okay. Lie. And then my hint right here. We need plates, too. Or you no, we don't, honey. We're eating it right off of this. Okay, there you <laughs> And we have our napkins. So let's dig in. Um, here's your pizza right here, and here's mine. Did so you want to flip it, like, a little bit? Cause yeah, let's turn it. Okay. <laughs> all right okay you guys so we have and you can scoot into me if you need to all right so we're gonna dig in you guys here's your ranch did you need extra ranch or anything i might i might and then i have your I'm fork okay. here thanks you're welcome i was gonna do caveman style but i guess should i use a fork it's up to you it's whatever you decide is this thin crust yeah. i feel like this is i didn't ask for thin crust that just made me mad. <laughs> it still looks good. It does look good, but I didn't ask for a thin crust. I like thin crust. Is this crust. how they usually make it? No. Oh. Uh, it was hot. And this was expensive today, guys. I was like, um, did it go up? We could talk about inflation for a second. Oh my goodness. I want this. These look good. I'm going to try one of these. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm. Remember mm. when we made those cookies together? Oh, God. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I've never good. had their boneless before. Mmm. This is good. That's good. Mmm. 
Mm-mm-mm. You guys, I miss Jocelyn so much. Oh, stop it. I did miss I missed her. you so much more. I miss you so much. Um, You guys, I said it in the last time she was here. Jocelyn, for her age, is doing her thing. Like, for a 21-year-old, 22. 22, for a 22-year-old, this girl has her own place. She has her own car. She's in her last year of college. She just, she's just doing her thing. Like, she just is so driven and she knows what she wants out of life. Like, I mean, even for me, I didn't know what I wanted out of life at that age. It took me actually a really long time to figure out what I wanted out of life. So I think if you are a young person and you know... Mmm. Mmm. The veggie. I'm so picky. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. That's fine. <laughs> um... And you know what you want out of It's Are you serious? <laughs> I'm thinking I can't do it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um and you know what you want out of life. I think that is amazing. Because a lot of us don't. A lot of us just don't know. And it's okay to not know. But I love Josh so much because like she just always so honest with me and like we just <laughs> talk about boys and Oh, I like this guy. Oh, this guy, I cut him off. And I'm thinking, like, I thought she was in a relationship. What happened? And the next thing you know, like, I'm back in love. she blocked him or <laughs> back in love with whatever. somebody else. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a new cycle every time I come over here. Every time. Mm-hmm. Well, that's okay. I'm young. I deserve it. You do deserve it. Thank you. So, <laughs> what is new in your life? Like, um, I just know what's going on. Mm. New job, love that for me. I cannot take a bite of this. Hold on. New job, love that for me. Mm -hmm. Um, I have a crush on a boy. Oh God. <laughs> no, he's cute. Oh, does he go to school? Yeah, does yeah. He, go to school? he goes to my school. <laughs> I'm not about to say too much because he has YouTube and all that. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what he watches, but he goes to my school. Mm -hmm. Um, he's a cutie. Hold on. I want to show you what he looks like. For the longest time, I need, hey, oh. come in here. I know, I'm trying to find a napkin. Oh man, I just used all the napkins. Here, take this. Um, Jocelyn, I thought her husband was going to be white, which is nothing wrong with a white guy. Absolutely but not. I thought when she got older, because she was just like obsessed. Don't say the word obsessed. You were. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say obsessed. I had a preference. She was obsessed, honey. Look shiny. She was like, I don't want, I don't want this, I don't want that. He has to be this, he has to be that. And I'm like, oh God. But I mean, you like what you like. I don't, it's no problem with that. Like, that's cool. So, because this is a new cycle, mm -hmm. uh, she has not seen my new crush. Right. So this is going to be a live reaction. She oh, doesn't, God. she doesn't know what he looks like. <laughs> and I'm so excited. I'm here. Is he light skin? Is he white? He's brown skin. Oh God. Which is new. Cause she was in in that phase where she was like, I only date light skinned guys. That wasn't a f no. What? No, <laughs> that's just who was around me at the time. They just happened to all be light skinned. So would you date a dark skin guy? Of course. Okay. Absolutely. I date any color. Okay. I don't care. Okay. I'm this scared. I'm gonna be honest. No, you I know don't. I'm gonna be honest. I'm scared too because a lot of I have this like really specific type. We'll get into that later, but. Again, live reaction. I'm scared because she's going to say something crazy. <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay. I'm scared. Okay. Just show me. Okay, uh, I am. <laughs> I'm trying to see if his fence is cuter or like his actual page is cuter. Okay, his fence is cuter. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm excited. <laughs> Let me see. No, because you know how to be like, oh, he's cute. And Listen, if he's cute to you, it don't matter. Like, he can be but hideous he, to me, but if he's cute to you. I would just do this. Because he's like. I'm fine. Okay. Mm. He's so cute to me, but he makes me don't mind. Like, so he doesn't know you exist. We hang out. Yes, he knows I exist. Oh, does he? Yeah. But he's, yeah. I don't want to say too much because he might watch this and I just refuse. Yo, these boneless wings are so good. I know, I'm hungry. Uh, uh. Alright, okay, come on. Ugly. Let me show you a dancing one because he's so cute. Okay, he's the one with the dreads. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Listen, if you're into us. <laughs> so no, he doesn't 
eat. And it's locks. I don't like when people call it dreads. He doesn't eat. Okay, he's he's, he's cute. He's cute, right? He's, he's, he's okay. Yeah. <laughs> he's not bad looking. He's cute. I don't know. He's cute to be young. Uh, I don't. That's all that matters. Not for real. He don't pay me no type of mind. And I think that's why I like him more because he pays me no mind. Seriously. So, do you think if you were to tell him, I have a crush on you? I wouldn't go no First way. of all, would you ever tell a guy that you have a crush on him? Like, would you ever shoot your shot to, to a guy? I've shot my shot, but I've never was like flat out, hey, I like you. That's weird to me. I could never do so that. So, what is shooting your shot then? You're cute. Okay, I will never just be like, hey, I don't feel like they're shooting your shot. How? I feel like shooting your shot is like, you want to go up? on a date with me? Like, can I get your number? What's up? No. Yeah, what's up? I feel like that's shooting your shot. I have anxiety. But you telling somebody that they cute is not, to me, shooting your shot. What y'all think? I don't know. <laughs> Where are my anxious girlies at? Because mm. I can't. Mm -mm, that's not for me. Can't do it. But no, he's cute. We... He is cute. He's talked about hanging out okay. like outside of school and stuff, so. Mm -hmm. We'll see, I guess. So, <laughs> the last time we we spoke, uh, you were dating someone. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And we were on the phone, you guys. Me, it was my ex-boyfriend, well, the boyfriend at the time. Yeah. We were into a little thing, and I was over here. So, of course, I'm going to get my big cousin to weigh in. Of course. Go ahead. So. Oh, my gosh. So good. He was so, like. Oh, I almost did it. Why? <laughs> sassy. He was very sassy. Like, <laughs> he liked to argue. He liked to go back and forth. Like, okay, here was my thing that I was trying to get him to understand. That he was not understanding. He, he was feeling so insecure and angry and upset. That she was hanging out with her gay male best friend. Mm -hmm. That's her best friend. And she was explaining to him, like, he's gay. You don't have anything to worry about. But, I mean, some guy, I mean, I mean, yeah, you do have maybe some gay guys that are still attracted to women. And they yeah. might do whatever. But it was very clear that this is my best friend. He would never cross that He's never going to cross that, that, that line. Mm -mm. You have nothing to worry about. But get this, you guys. He's allowed to hang. She's supposed to be okay with him hanging out with his girl best straight friend. Women. Straight, straight women. Straight women. And he could not understand <laughs> that that was a problem. <laughs> and she's talking to him and telling him. And I'm telling him, like, how can you be mad that she's hanging out with her gay best friend that has no interest in women at all? At all. But you think it's okay to hang out with your straight friends and, and think that she's going to be okay with that? And that was one of my things, my red flags with him that I was like, uh, I don't know. That's kind of, kind of weird. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then like, <clears throat> he was just very like argumentative for no reason. Like he just like arguing for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> he did like to argue. The thing is though, when I first met him, he did not. So maybe I brought that out of him, but like still. I feel like. Did you argue with him a lot, or Not do you think him. it was just you guys being together and you guys' own personal chemistry? We were fine until we got to school. Okay. Like, it was just a different environment, so that kind of, like, brought us apart. There was a lot more, because we met during the summer, basically. Mm -hmm. So it was just us. Then we got to school, of course there's men, women, da -da -da, you know. So I kind of drove us apart. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Um, Life um, goes on. I was so happy for you because you was like really happy and you seemed to like really like him. Oh, because the one I was dating. Yeah, yeah, I liked, <laughs> liked duh. Yeah, you liked him a lot. But what would you say was the turning point? Like, if you could give any advice Ow. to other young women mm. that are the same age as you, mm -hmm. Like, what would you tell them it was, like, the turning point that you was like, I'm done with you. I don't want to be with you no more. Like, you're doing too much. Because some women out there just be like, oh, I'm going to, you know, this is just the way my boyfriend is. Or maybe it's me. Maybe it's something that I need to do. It's never he you. He would blame you all the time for it's, everything. Listen, it's never you. Literally, if I have any piece of advice, it's literally have your standards. Stick by them. Don't compromise for anybody because there will be someone who can actually meet those standards. Come on, man. Okay, don't do that. But... <laughs> Do not compromise on your standards because you will be disappointed every single time. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So, I have a question for you. Yeah. Like, I'm older than you. Mm -hmm. Fairly. But, when I look at you, 
Mm -hmm. I think back to like where I was at your age. Right. What makes you go so hard? Like what makes you, <laughs> what makes you have a savings account? What makes you have <laughs> your car payment paid up six months in advance? What makes you have your own place? Like what makes you do that? Like how are you so responsible? Like how? I and still have a social life and still have friends. Social and still, life is crazy. Um, you know, and still do your thing and still, you know what I mean? How is that? And then you said, you know, sometimes you, you deal with certain things on a daily basis. Yeah. Like, how do you manage to do all of that? Because, man, if I had a friend like you at 22 years old, yeah. my God, I would be <laughs> like, I would be so inspired. Stop it. I'm so serious. <laughs> I, I tell her every time you guys, every time she's around, I tell her how proud I am of her because... I mean, there's people my age that don't got it together, honey. Mm, I know. Trust me. I there's know. people 10 times my age and still don't got it, got it together. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're 10 years good. older than me, I mean, that don't have it. It's good, right? It's really good. Um, oh, so. Hot. Use the fork. I know. They're probably going to be like, oh, this is gross. She's double dipping. No, she's not. No, they're not. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my question. Like, what is it that makes you do that? Like, um, honestly... My family is very successful, example A, mm -hmm. but I don't know, I guess I just want to be like, yo, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. you guys are so like, I'm, okay, first of all, my family is amazing, all of them, yes. like, we're all great, and I just like, I want to keep up with that, you know what I mean, like, but it's, it doesn't feel like, you don't ever feel like it's like a competition type of oh, thing, oh god, no. No, no, no. I would never be in competition with my family. Of course. Absolutely not. You guys all live your own lives. Y'all have your different goals, you know what I mean? Yeah. You all accomplish different things. And I see how well off y'all are because who's the youngest? Who's the second youngest to me? I don't know. Whatever. I think uh, Layla's the youngest. No, no, no. Who's right above me? Tyson. Tyson's right yeah. above me. And, and Tyson's good. doing really good. Tyson's We're so good. proud of Tyson. You know what I mean? Maybe. I think it's a fear thing. I just don't want to be that one family member. I'm sure. <laughs> Y'all, and you know we got that one family member. Like, it's in everybody's family. And, and it's, it's, a couple, it's a couple family members that's like that in a lot of people's family. So, I know they can understand and relate, but... And that won't be me. It's definitely not going to be you, honey. <laughs> mm -mm. It's definitely not going to be you. I'm so... So, I say it every time, and I'm going to always say it. Yeah. You know, because you were telling me earlier what that man said to you. Oh, my god. Do you want to share with them what, sure. they, what he said? First, I'm gonna shout out to my mom because she raised this. Period. Mm -hmm. Shout out to her. She's an amazing person. Love mm -hmm. her to death. So I had just recently won a, a scholarship through an organization, and there was a lot of people that watched me grow up. And this man came up to me, <clears throat> and he was like, "You know, watching you grow up, I didn't think you were gonna make it." I was I, like, in that moment, I was like, "What am I supposed to say?" I, you know, the awkward little. Oh. Like, what am I supposed to say? Like, that's Nothing. So, like, what can you say to that? That's so awkward to me. But it's just like, first of all, I'm not a child, one. But, like, why would you say that to anybody, period? Oh, I didn't think you were going to make it yeah. when I watched you grow up. Now, I, I did make it, so now what? Like, like exactly. I, don't, I don't know. And so, it just goes to show, like, people will put labels on you. People will... will doubt you. For well, no yes, reason. They I will was doubt a child. You. A child. Like what? They will point their finger and tell you what you're going to turn out to be and what you're going to be. I've had somebody do it to me. And that's what I always tell you guys. Like, you have to cancel that because that is a seed that someone's trying to plant in your life. And you have to cancel that immediately. If mm -hmm. you want to say it under your breath, if you're too nervous or if you're talking to someone that is at your elder or whatever and you just feel like you don't want to be disrespectful or if you want to check them right then and there... I personally feel like check them right then and there. I could, but if you want to be, <laughs> if you, <laughs> if you uh, just cancel it immediately, say it out of your mouth and say, I don't receive it. I don't receive it because you're not going to put your insecurities on me. You're not going to put your failures on me. You're not going to put whatever you think I'm going to turn into on me. And people love doing that oh, because they, misery. yes, they're mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm. Misery does love company. I don't know. Couldn't yes, it does. And, you know, like I said, I'm just, wow. Did I really just eat half of that pizza? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
Like I'm just eating and eating and eating it before it's you know where it's thin going. Crust, that's why. It is thin crust, and I feel like some of them are thin crust and some of them are not. I'm actually kind of disappointed. The pizza is delicious. Don't get me wrong, but I did not ask for thin crust, and this this was too expensive. They went up. Mhm. Mm mmm. Mmm. Inflation for another day. But it's so good though. We'll talk about that another time. Are you enjoying the pizza? Oh my god, it's so good. It is good. And the wings are so good too. Even though she's not a boneless girl. I'm a boneless girl today because these are actually really good. And I've never had their boneless Can before. Can I try some with the hot sauce? Please. I've never tried it before. Just a little, a little okay. dab. Bring it in. Just right here. Okay. That was one little drop. First of all, it didn't get on the pizza. Yes, it did. Oh, it got on my arm. <laughs> Lick it off. <laughs> Yuck. You need more? No, I'm okay. Um, but yeah, you guys, this is my sweetheart. Let me see how you how you like it. You can barely taste it. I only put like one little drop on there. What do you think? Why is it even sweet? I love Tabasco. Tabasco, I used to be like, Tabasco's too spicy. I don't like it. But I really love Tabasco. It's very spicy, actually. Mm. I don't know if it caught it, but she just gave me a little, uh, little dibby dab. Mm -hmm. Very spicy. <laughs> mm. It's good though. It is good, but so someone who has been accomplishing everything. Don't say everything. Do you have any new goals? Uh, <laughs> uh, don't put me on the spot. I, I don't know. I just, I feel like I'm reaching a lot right now. Let me like settle into what I'm reaching. And mm -hmm. then if new goals come, then yeah, I'll definitely share those. Yeah. But honey, you are doing, jumping. I promise you. And you guys, she's so hard on herself. Like, she's like, I'm not doing enough. I have anxiety. I'm not doing enough. Like, I'm stressed out. And it's like, you're stressing yourself out, honestly. I know. It's because I want so much for myself. And that's okay, but I'm telling you, yeah. <clears throat> as your older cousin, I'm telling you that you're light years. You guys, I told her to get a house. <laughs> like, I mean, she's accomplishing everything. I told her to save up for her house. Like, okay, it's okay to have your little apartment or whatever. Do your apartment. I went for like a year or whatever, but if you see yourself staying in a particular location, buy a house. Like, you're 21. Like, 22. why can't you? You're 22. I keep forgetting that you're 22. <laughs> like, you're doing so many amazing things already, and you're so ahead of the game. Thank you. I promise you. I know it probably feels like a lot of times people compare themselves on people online. Oh, absolutely. Like, you compare yourself to people like Instagram models and this, that, and a third. A lot of that is not realistic, honey. I know. Because when you're in You live in the real parts. world, okay? Yeah. yeah. And the internet is not 100% the real world. It's full of illusions and full of, like, lies and half-truths and stuff like that. But, honey, you got your degree. You're about to be a graduate. Yeah. You got everything that so many people don't have. So you should be very, very proud of yourself. And I know you guys can agree in the comment section that this girl is doing her thing. You are. I'm so serious. Like, I'm not trying to gas you up. I'm not trying to make you feel good. No, I'm serious. You have way more than what I had at 22. Way more. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And nobody gave her anything. That's the thing that I love so much. Like, she gets it herself. No, no family member bought her a car. Okay. Nobody... Sign her their name on anything. She's doing her thing. You're very, very <coughs> hardworking, and um, you should be so proud of yourself. Are you full? Um, a little bit. We were so hungry, you guys, when it started. <laughs> like, she was like, "Can I taste a piece of pizza off camera?" I'm like, "Why would you taste a piece of pizza off camera?" That's what we're here to do. We're here to eat. And um, she has her Taylor port. You guys, I've never tasted Taylor port before, but I heard it gets you bent like real quick. Is it okay if I say something? Yeah, go ahead. I feel it a little bit. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. A little tiny bit. Not too much, though. Not too much. I can't believe that. Wow, that stuff is strong, Joshua. Oh, very. Absolutely. You yeah. didn't even have that much. Literally, okay. I don't know if you can see. It was, like, right here. Y'all watched me take my first sip on camera. And I, I barely touched it. So, <laughs> I feel good. So I guess would you give Taylor Port a thumbs up to anybody that's interested in trying? Not older people. I think Why? it's a good starter drink. 
Because I, I had my first sip when I started college. Okay. And that got me through about a year. But every older person I talk to, they're like, Taylor Port's gross. But it does what it has to do. You know what and I mean? And that's what you're drinking it for. For oh. it to do what it needs to do. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, it's not bad. It tastes good. I'm not gonna lie. A cool one. I mean, I saw it on TikTok. I mean, everything. You guys, I'm gonna be devastated when they ban TikTok. Like, I love TikTok so much. You think that's actually You learn? Yes, is they it? already started. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm just gonna TikTok. be so devastated. Like, I love it. You learn so much on TikTok. Like, just about any and everything. Oh. Like, how to do this, how to do that. Like, just literally any and everything. So, I don't know I'm gonna be really sad when it goes. I spent hours on TikTok. I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. A lot of us do. Hours. <laughs> It's mm. so bad. But I love that app so bad. Me too. It's really good. I'm, I'm gonna be sad to see it go. You're tired of eating? No. I'm getting the, <laughs> I'm getting the itis. Oh my god. <laughs> that drink is making you sleepy. <laughs> I'm getting the itis for real. Mm. Yeah, this was so good. I'm full. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video with my baby i'm so happy to see you again i know i missed you so much i miss you so bad we have so many exciting things happening in our family and when i came back home like two days later we had a welcome home party for me and i got to see all my family and then tyson is having a baby the cousin that is above her um him and his girlfriend are having the baby so they had a gender reveal party and then the same day was my welcome home party. So it's just been so many different festivities happening. And it's been wonderful. But yeah, shout out to everybody that's around the same age as Jocelyn. Please know that no matter where you are in life, whether you're doing, whether you feel like you're doing bad, whether you feel like you don't have a job, whether you feel like you don't know what you want to do with your life, you don't have any direction, I promise you, you don't have to have it all figured out at 22. No, absolutely not. My you road is not just saying it's not your road at all. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And we have to stop comparing ourselves to other people. And what God has for you again is what's for you. Like exactly. You're not in competition with nobody. You know? Some people are because there's people above me, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yeah. So. And some people are late bloomers in life. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. So <sighs> We just wanted to encourage you guys. This food was absolutely delicious. These boneless wings were delicious. I'm still eating. <laughs> but that's my last one. Mmm. Woo. Mmm. But, yes, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I will see you guys tomorrow. Jocelyn, we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, I gotta go back to school. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys so much. We'll see you next time. Bye. Mwah. Whoa, that was fun. Good combo. Wonderful. <laughs>